In this video, we'll see how to make use of the database functions in Excel. Let's say you have a table such as this that contains some data. And here we have information on public and private colleges and the cost of attending them. Let us say you want to find the average cost of attending a public university or a public college, which has the value one under the public private uh, field. So to do that, um, we'll select the cell K13 first and insert function and go to database category. And within that, click on D average. Okay. Mm. Now the database range is from A1 through G11. In our case, the entire table that contains the data, the field is this particular field here. Let me just go over here. The field is this cost dollars. This is a field and the criteria is select the criteria range, which is the cells A15 through G16. Please note that the criteria range has these field names, which are exactly the same as the field names for the original table. Okay. And you will then get the average value for only the public universities. So the neat thing about this function, this average function is that it is plucking out only those records that contain a specific value that we specify and finding the average for those particular values. Next, we'll see how to find the minimum and the maximum and the number of colleges as well. Click on the cell K14, insert function, database category, and click on D min. Okay. The database range is the same as before. The field is the same as before. You could just point to D1, but what I'm going to do instead is just type in cost space dollar, which is exactly identical to this particular text here that describes this field. But please be sure to type it in exactly as it is here. The criteria is as before the criteria range. And then you can click OK. And now you have $763. So $763 is the minimum cost of attending a pu public university. Please note that Alabama State University is also a public university because it has a number one here, but it has no cost information here. It's a null value because a null value indicates that there is no value available. So the minimum value is really 763, which is the lowest number in this range for public universities. We'll now find out the maximum cost of attending college. And this time I'll enter it in a slightly different way. So again, go to cell K 15 this time and insert function and this time do D max. Okay. All of them are in the database category, by the way, click on D max. And now I select the same table range, the field, um, this time I'm instead of typing the field or instead of clicking on the cell number of the field, I'm going to type in the field number that is one, two, three, and four. So cost dollars is field number four. So I can type that. And the criterion field criteria range is the same as before. It is a 15 through G 16 and click okay. And that works as well. And finally, the count of number of colleges here, I'm going to Again, click insert D count. Okay. Database is this one right here. Field is four and criteria is this one. And you can see that there are three colleges for which we have data. And those three colleges are Adam State College, Alabama Agri and Mech University and Albany State College. Please note that Alabama State University has a blank. So that does not get counted in the num count of the number of colleges. So that's how you would take a table and specify a criteria, pull out specific values and find out statistical properties such as average, minimum, maximum and count. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.